All right, so now what we're going to do is place a headshot in this area right here under index. Okay, you, the student, are going to have their own headshot. At the beginning of the year, I took everybody's picture. Okay, those pictures are really, really high res. So we're going to have to narrow that down a little bit. So I need you to open up your headshot. I'll show you where they're located. They're in NEF format, so they're really big and uncompressed. First off, know that they are in 16-bit mode. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to mode and go to 8-bit channel. Okay, physically it's not going to do anything to it. Also, we need to measure this area. We do that by going into view, rulers, show. Okay. This is my origin. So if I click and drag this over, it'll measure from this area over to the area that I drag a ruler to. I can drag a ruler from the side rulers. So click and drag it out. I'm going to line it up right here. Notice it says 156 pixels. Okay. So from this line right here to this line right here is 156 pixels. Well, I'm going to do something a little wacky here. I'm going to hit Shift Command 4 on a Mac. And I'm going to steal some of this color. Okay. That took a screenshot. And in Photoshop, I'm just going to open that up. There's what I want. Okay. I'm just going to crop this a little bit. So it's got that green light out of there. And I'm going to go and go image size. And I'm going to make this a width of 156. So nice. Now we have a little template to put our picture at. Well, let's go get that picture. And we're going to take it and go image size and lower this down to a resolution of 72. Make sure constraint proportions are on. Now, I want the max width not to exceed 156. Okay? So that means, actually, what I want is the height to be 156. I'll explain. Hit OK. You get this really small picture. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go over here to Paste. Notice it says, you are about to paste it within this world that is a different source. I want to hit OK. That's the reason I took the picture is because the website has a different color profile than the picture itself. It's much easier to steal some color from the website using Shift Command 4, make a template for your picture to sit in, and then paste it in rather than changing the color profile. If I'm speaking Greek, don't worry about it. Uh, it's, it'll all come apparent later on. Okay, So for right here, I'm going to say file, save for web devices, and I'm going to save this little thing as a JPEG and call it headshot. It must be saved with save for web devices. Do not go file save for JPEG. Do not do this ever. Okay, don't drop this down to JPEG. Always use the save for web devices especially on a Mac. If you do not, you'll get a different kind of format, and you don't want that. All right, well, now we have CSS, so it's not like you can go and place these pictures anywhere you want. You have to do it very smart. Um, for instance, I want a picture in this area. I'll put my cursor right here, and insert image headshot. Hit OK. There we go. 
Now, if I wanted the background to be this color, I could have done that by, you know, just now I could grab a little tiny section of that. Again, this is just a color, so you can actually take that same philosophy anywhere, like Shift Command 4, I'll give you an example. If I wanted this color, I could just grab just a little tiny bit of this, and in Photoshop, I go File Open, and I'll grab that screenshot that's really small. It's just a color. So I can go Image Size, and say the width is going to be 156. Um, I can put the image size here, a little bit different, by constraint proportions. And I can say this one's going to be, oh, 200 or something like that. And then I could have pasted my actual document in here. See? So color can't be pixelated. Here's how you update it. If you hit save, hit headshot, hit save, and replace, you can now go back here and it should automatically update. Easy as that. All right, now that we have the basics out of the way, as let's update this. Yes, tall. And let's go view our site. Picture, gallery, all the weeks. Okay. Notice this one it says insert logo here. So for that one, you might not want your picture. Again, you know, you only want your picture like once on the website. It, it looks kind of tacky if you got it more than once. It looks like you're kind of a promotional person. I don't know. That's just me though. You know, I, I'm not a real vain guy. I do like taking some wacky pictures though. So I'm going to select inverse and just kind of delete around the outside edge here. And place that a little bit better right here within the center. Later on, we're probably going to end up changing the color of the website. So, you know, this is one of those things that don't spend a huge amount of time um, uploading your site and then changing this color background. You know, if you do like the blue, that's good. But if you don't, don't worry about it. We're going to end up changing it anyway. That's better. All right, so that is how to place a picture within your website. Very easy stuff. But have fun with that, and on to the next video.